So if you'd like, just let's start by introducing yourself, uh, who you are, where you're visiting from, and your role. Yeah, my name is Engineer Benem Gisha, and I'm from Makere University, Kampala, Uganda. Okay. Yeah. Welcome to Seattle. I'm uh, Randall Schwartz, and I'm up here from Portland, Oregon. Mm -hmm. I'm Sujata Dubrawala, and I'm from Intel. My name is uh, Ted Wexler. Uh, I live in New York City, work for Bloomberg. My name and is Dennis Salamanca. I work for Microsoft. I come from Costa Rica. Seattle. We're local. Um, Patrick East, okay. Pure Storage. Cool. Uh, my name is Shri Zawadekar. I'm visiting from Bay Area, California. Right. My name is Trevor Meese, and I'm visiting from Bellevue, Washington. I'm from uh, VMware. Uh, I'm uh, coming from Palo Alto. Reliable, scalable, fun. Awesome container orchestrator. <laughs> it's amazing, easy, and uh, reliable. Um the next shiny object. Okay. It's something like a cat. Okay. Flexible and agile. An elephant. Uh, <laughs> taking everyone with it and uh, never forgets. That's all. <laughs> An octopus. Just because it has its tendrils into everything. Maybe an elephant. <laughs> uh, several other animals could sit on top of this big animal. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking like octopus, and it's like nautical theme, like the Kraken maybe. It's got a lot of stuff going on, a lot of arms, you know, it's, it's kind of in everywhere, network, storage, compute, you know, a little, little everything, and it, it's pretty smart. One of those dragons from Game of Thrones. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because it's enormous, and it's only, gonna, it's only a matter of time where it can like, just, you know, take over everything. I think it's a lot of animals in in a single one because all the functionality it has. I think it's a rare animal that it's not found on Earth right now. <laughs> it's kind of like a mother bird because it's got all of its little pods and little birds that it has to feed and take care of. <laughs> For the kangaroo, it's very fast, it's very agile. Um, it can carry small things, containers being very small units of, of deployment. Yeah. Just play with it. It's like, go get Minikube, try it out. I think that's the easiest way. Like mini coop or something that you can really play with, and then you'll get the hang of what it does. Just try to spin one up, and you could Google various tutorials for different applications and things you want to run. Just you know, try something out and try to make it work. I think uh, they should first learn on by Kubernetes uh, what are they expecting from it, and uh, uh, what are the things uh, that they are stuck on. That. Sooner the better. Uh, and it's the future, you better embrace it. I'm still sort of getting started myself. My primary client right now, ZipRecruiter, is moving everything to Kubernetes over the, well, the last 10 months and now moving forward because it seems to be the right way to go for really having good scalable applications and good separation factors. Just reading any number of great tutorials out there um, depends on your skill level, depends on, on that kind of stuff. Um, but there's, there's so many resources out there just Google how to use Kubernetes and, and you should be good to go.